Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Granite Tools. I've had this Craftsman Torque Wrench for over five years now, and for the most part, it has served me well over that five year period. But I've been noticing over the last few months, the head on the thing has started to give out and slip out on me. So today we're gonna see what it takes to actually rebuild one of these Craftsman Torque Wrenches. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe if you're not already and hit that bell to be notified of all my latest uploads. So here we are at the workbench and the product number has long since worn off of the thing, but this is my Craftsman 91319 half inch drive ratcheting torque wrench. The kit that I found that is going to work with this, and I hope it does, right? Because I did a little bit of research and the kit I had to buy was actually for a ratchet, but the catalog number for that kit is gonna be a 43, 445 a made in usa actually rebuild kit for a round head craftsman ratchet which looks like it is the same mechanism that's found inside this ratchet so what we're going to do is use our 15 torques to take this guy loose and see if this kit will actually work for it as you can see busting that loose was fairly easy actually can now take this off of here and yes, unscrew it by hand. And we're gonna see if this kit will work. I hope it will work because uh, the kit that I purchased, that 43445 is actually discontinued. So yeah, it looks like it is the same part. Now, get you a little bit more focused and I'm gonna inspect the mechanism so here is one of the gears and as soon as i took it out you can see that yeah there is some metal shavings on the internal gear there you can see there is a bit of wear on the actual the actual drive here is the paw mechanism and yeah it looks like a lot of those teeth a lot of that metal shavings are from this paw as you can see, there's a tooth right here that's a little worn out. But more importantly, right, when you do something like this and you inspect for damage, you want to take a look at the inside, the internals. And from the looks of it, it actually does not look like the teeth inside this housing are all that bad. My brand new Made in America rebuild kit of course the wrench is made in china which i hope these new parts will fit we'll see well here's the old parts right there here are the new parts so here i am a little closer so you guys can actually see what i'm doing if you notice here there is a little bit of buildup inside the teeth here there's a little bit of dirt in there so all i'm going to do is take some spray nine spray it in there and run this bristle brush through it just so that paw has a better uh, area to grab onto make sure all of these teeth are clean the teeth don't look bad themselves they just need to be free and clear of any dirt and debris so that paw can actually grab onto them properly so here and just like that the thing is clean so there you have it now i'm just going to take over a, a couple rags and wipe that down Make sure we're all clean and good. Now that they're clean, I can actually inspect it a little better. Yeah, I don't, I don't really see any, well, actually, yes, I do. So there is a little bit, I don't know if you can make that out on the camera, but right there, there is some shearing of some of the teeth. 
but I think with the debris gone, uh, the the ratchet paw will sit better in these larger teeth. It's only like the the top, like I want to say the top, like eighth of the gear tooth that is a little bit stripped back on probably like three teeth right there. So as long as the debris is out of there and the new mechanism can be applied correctly, let's see here, wow. So yeah, it fits in there properly. So I'm gonna lubricate the guy, the whole entire ratchet. Um, not overdo it because when you overdo it you wind up with a situation just like what you had with the dirt where the teeth weren't grabbing fully onto the paw and that's plenty right there so I'm gonna take actually some of that and wipe it across this just so it you know can can ride really easily inside the body of the housing there so you take that Slap that guy in there. There's your paw. So you're going to want to take this. And this is my first time doing this. So let's see if I can get it really good right here, right now. And just take that exposed tip and slot it right down into that. Nope, missed it. Slot it in there. See if we can uh, see what it takes to get this spring in here correctly. Uh, come on. Cooperate. She doesn't want to do it. There it is. I got it. I got her. Sit. Screw her in. Color done. Oh yeah. That's much better. Look at that. Oh yeah. Slap her back. Oh yeah. Slap her back the other way. You hear that? Okay, so now we're gonna put a little final tighten on this uh, T15. That's it, that's all you need. And look at that. She's good to go. And I'm actually surprised that that rebuild kit worked because given that this product is discontinued this whole entire torque wrench is discontinued you know craftsman sears craftsman doesn't really offer it anymore i mean if you can find a sears around you maybe they still offer this torque wrench but there are no more sears near me so your options with craftsman are uh the newer types but this one the rebuild kit as you can see that is intended for a standard ratchet the kit is the 43445 will actually work in their torque wrenches so yeah look at that and it sounds amazing it sounds really good and that about wraps it up links to everything i talked about in this video are in the description down below if you like this video make sure you drop a like get subscribed and consider checking out my support links in the description below but that's it that's all i have for you i'll see you in the next one peace